Second uh, Chronicles 10 is the great Israeli Tea Party Rebellion. And God tells them not to attack the rebellious north. And then you go to Romans chapter 13, and it's all about submitting to authorities. And we homeschool and we get a lot of good stuff about the revolution. But my question is, the people that signed the independence sin against God's anointed. Uh, so, how about the American, is that basically the American Revolution? Yes. Uh, so how, uh, or so was, I'll, I'll just, uh, was, uh, the American Revolution biblical? Tell us now before we renounce your citizenship. Uh, <laughs> Biblical. Um, and the short answer on, for the short, I'm always supposed to give a short answer. So for Scott, the short answer is, is rebellion ever biblical? Especially when it says in 1 Samuel that, that rebellion is like witchcraft. So is any rebellion biblical? And, and so I'll cover a lot of stuff because it isn't just... The, the American Revolution, uh, but what about all the strikes for higher pay? Does the Bible ever address that? Well, it does. Do people like what it says? No. So th there's a lot of principles. I'm not talking, uh, this is apolitical and this is uh, non-economic system driven, but does the Bible address everyday life like this? Yes. And on uh, this is going to be a, that's a good, I'm glad I didn't answer this one tonight. I probably would have been run out of here. But I'm not sure that any rebellions are biblical. Any. And I'm not a big fan of strikes and of forcing pay increases because Jesus says, why don't you be content with your wages? That's what he told the soldiers. Why don't you just be content with your wages and just decrease your desires? 